We're going to take a look at a new tool now, but before we do, I'm going to bring a picture in to uh, kind of show you how I can sample it. So later on, I'll show you how to import, but it's basically file import image. And I'm just going to bring in this guy. This is a fairly famous painting by the painter Edward Manet. And I'll make it large so we can see it. Okay. It's actually a much wider painting. And okay, so if I am using this painting and I want like an exact color, the tool that I would use for that is my color picker, which is right here. It looks kind of like an, well, it's called the eyedropper. And it looks like a little kind of a uh, siphon thing. Click on that and you're given this. And anywhere you pick the color wheel, or your foreground color, if you're on foreground color, your background color, if you're on background, will become that color. So let's say I wanted this kind of reddish back here, this red color. I would just click and you notice it has changed. And it's going to be different depending on where I click because there are several tones of red and black almost inside of it. So it's going to jump around and I'd, I'd need to be very specific. And if I want to zoom in, I could get pretty close and pick practically, practically pixel by pixel pixel because every one of these is going to have a slightly different tone. Not necessarily in every picture, but in this one, it varies quite a bit. So just keep that in mind. And if you wanted your, to select your background, let's say I wanted this purple, then you would just select this. And then you may want a few colors like this when you're uh, maybe creating a palette and you like a color scheme and you can do this and it's a good way to kind of create a, your own palette. So this is the eyedropper. Another way you can get this tool if you are on, on another tool is to just right click or change the setting on your uh, pen to make right click become this. So I just press the pen button and it's going to sample wherever I'm at, which is great because I'm still on the pen. Right now, if I want to write pen down here, if I want this black, I just click it and I have it. If I want this kind of tan, got it. So it just picks it up right away and you can use it, which is it's awesome. If your pen is not working with as a right click function, you can change that by just going to your control panel and let's change it. And we're going to go to our let's see, pen pen and touch change tablet pen settings. It may be a slightly different s place on your, th your computer, depending on how you have it set up, but somewhere there should be a setting for your pen and you can just click this button, use the pen button as a right click equivalent. And one of your buttons on your pen will become the right click, which is great. And that is how you can turn this into the sampler. The eyedropper is a tool that I never really use, kind of like these other ones, because we just have such a good shortcut and we can get it so quickly that it doesn't make sense to change to a tool. But if you do want to do it that way, you can just find it right 